at probably one of the most unique signs. I'm here with my lovely daughter Natalie, and we were at Sequoia National Park. So we've been passing through Central California here on the eastern side, and there are fruit groves everywhere. So we pulled over, and we thought we'd get some fresh fruit and fresh vegetables. We'll start off with a couple of tomatoes, some cherries, some strawberries. You still hunting? Yeah. All right. How about avocado? Some plums. Kiwi. Fresh California oranges. Ooh. I might, I might have one of these. Yeah, I get one of those. It's absolutely What's fabulous. This? Pomegranate juice. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, I'll have one. Oh, that's delicious. Wow. Yeah. That's really good. Wow. I think we're just gonna hang out here a little longer and have you bring <laughs> the treats out to us. That almond brother was excellent. If you're planning to come to Sequoia, be prepared for a lot of turns. This is probably the most twisty road. I've ever driven on in my entire life. How you doing, Natalie? Yeah, I feel like I'm sick. <laughs> oh, what's this guy doing? Camp, where are we, 104? Yeah, so we're like all the way back there then. Right, let's keep driving around the loop. Man, they really pack them in at this place. Look at that. Like sardines. Yeah, right top of each other. Look at all of the people. There's the church, there's the steeple. Open the doors and look See at all, all the, the people. people. <laughs> let's go check out our campsite. Yep. That's 105 right there. Is this, maybe? No, that's Is this 104? Mm -hmm. Oh, where do we go? We're like up in the rocks, Natalie. Uh -huh. Is that 104 up there? Uh, yeah. It says 104? Yeah, too. You're going to be hiking half dome in three days and you're complaining about this? I have to save my energy. <laughs> this is a sweet campsite. Nice spot for the tent right here. Boy, this is beautiful. It is a nice place. Look at this. Except if the bears come, we're the first ones. <laughs> Come on, there's a whole, there's so much traffic. I'm going quick. I think they're all waiting for me. Yeah, there are so many cars. Everybody's running for cover, Natalie. Looks like the rain is coming down. Time. And hearing that thunder and assuming lightning's probably not too far off walking around these tall giants is probably not the place you want to be. Would you agree with that? Yeah. I think each one's like a big lightning rod. 
We're at the Lodgepole Campground. That is the largest campground in Sequoia. And if you stay here, there are two counters where you get some food. We made the mistake of going to the far counter. You can see it right, right down there. And all they have at the far counter is junk food. The best I could do is a turkey burger. Now that you got a piece of pizza, right? We just realized there's a second counter right here. Second counter. And the second counter has not only ice cream, which Natalie's enjoying right now, $1.50 for a massive cup of ice cream. Also, it has wraps. And what they got is they got these two guys back there, and they got these large counters that they whip up and they make beautiful wraps for you, but no one knows about it. You can see everybody's at the, the junk food line. They're all at the junk food line down there. No one's at the wrap line over here. These guys are looking for business. They're not getting action. I spent a lot of time really explaining almost nothing. What's <laughs> that? Those guys are staring at you. Like, what is he doing? These people are all viewing the biggest tree in the world. Not the tallest, not the widest, but the biggest tree in the world. This is the General Sherman Sequoia tree. Let's go check it out. Like you got three rivers to cross here. This looks like the easiest of the three. You can do the high log or just walk along the stones. Uh, I'm gonna go on the log. All right, give it a shot. Two more to go. Uh, actually, like three more. You got a big jump there. Be careful. It should be slippery. Whoa! Back to your way, then. We're not getting across this one. Ah! Natalie, no way, that's gonna sweep us away. Oh, you're crazy. No, I don't like this one. No? No, you fall into that, we're in trouble. You can't go top of the water, you just go in the water. You can only get your feet in. There you go. You're good. Keep the stick pointing downstream. It's up to my knees right here.
was pointing. I was wondering why everybody was pointing at the car. I left all my sweatshirts on the roof. All right, thanks, Nanny. I was too embarrassed to get out. <laughs> well, we're getting ready to leave Sequoia and make our way over to Yosemite. Uh, but I want to share one quick story with you before we depart. Last night, Natalie and I went over to the amphitheater to enjoy the evening ranger program right here at the campground. And who sits in front of us? None other than Mike Singletary. Now, it was a little dark, but I'd say I'm 98 to 99% sure that it was him. I mean, this guy has made a tremendous influence in my life. Uh, Hall of Fame linebacker for the Chicago Bears. This is the guy that was part of that 1986 Super Bowl Shuffle World Championship. Chicago Bears team. I was in Chicago when that happened. Also a man that was a uh, has demonstrated himself when he played and even now as a, a mature Christian, uh, a, a testimony that God used in my life in many ways to develop and increase my faith. So there he is sitting in front of us and I was about this close to tapping him on the shoulder and introducing myself and sharing these sentiments with him. And then I thought, let him be. He's with his wife and his two daughters. Let him enjoy his family time camping out. I'm sure he appreciates his privacy, especially being such a public figure. But uh, I did happen to snap a picture of him as we were departing from the amphitheater, and this is the best I've got. Dear Mrs. Singletary, I recently tried to write to your husband, but was unable to obtain any contact information. Thank you for reading this, and I would deeply appreciate you passing my sentiments along to him. I value your time, so I will keep my comments brief. About two weeks ago, I was with my youngest daughter at Sequoia National Park. One evening, we attended the ranger program at the campground that discussed the Wilderness Act. The sunlight was minimal, but a family sat right in front of us that appeared to be Mr. Singletary, his wife, and two young children. So if that was your family I saw recently at Sequoia, and I'm still curious if it was, this is what I wanted to say. If it was not you, it brings me great joy to share it with you now. My deepest gratitude to you and Mike. Sincerely, Randy. Thank you for your kind words. It was definitely not us at Sequoia. Our youngest kids are 19 and 21. <laughs>